Welcome back, ladies and gents. I am Matt Sr., founder and CEO of 412 Public Safety Equipment Customs here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So, I have something really exciting to share with you guys today. Um, I am super excited to show you guys the start of a long video series on Technique Incorporated. Technique Incorporated is a vendor of ours and a longtime maker of LED lighting products. Um, they have a large variety of items, but more recently they have ventured into the LED warning light industry. I guess with the idea that there was a need for more quality, affordable options. So, a few things really, really interesting about their emergency lighting line. Number one, they were designed and engineered to be a direct replacement to many of your standard sizes. For example, the two lights that we have in front of us today are the Technique K50. The K50 is basically a direct replacement to the Whelan 500 series. So if you removed a Whelan 500 series lighthead from your mirror beam, say, uh, or from any other vehicle or um, product, these would be a direct replacement as far as the size and the spot that they were mounted to. So, one thing to keep in mind though with the Technique products, um, since everybody is looking for smaller and thinner and, you know, these wouldn't be for you. This is, as of now, pretty much the smallest, at least self-contained warning light. Uh, they do make a couple other products that we utilize as warning lights, coupled with a flasher or a controller system, uh, per se. So, <clears throat> as far as your fully contained flasher in, um, included emergency warning light this is their smallest light this light um i think screw hole to screw hole measures about five and three quarters inch so total it's probably six inches and as you can tell by looking at these they're not the thinnest they are built very robust though. The base of these are in extruded aluminum. Extruded aluminum base. Epoxy filled where the power leads come through. Now, I do want to talk about these optics though. As you can tell, the performance and the brightness that Technique achieves simply in this size platform is kind of astonishing they're doing it with four led diodes now their optics are specially designed for performance they give you a killer brightness head-on just like a tir optic but they also have an unbelievable off-axis uh, beam, which I will show you once we energize these. Um, to be honest with you, I, ca I can't even begin to understand how they achieve it. If you kind of take a look down in there, they have somewhat of a bullseye style TIR optic closest to the LED diodes. And then there's sort of a wavy p 
peak kind of, um, oh, I don't even know, fluted lens, um, I, I guess you could call it. That's what gives you an insane amount of off-axis lighting. Now, as I said, these are very robust, very well built. Most of these lights feature 16 flash patterns. Um, they're all pretty much standard throughout the whole line. They don't have the long list of um, 100 million flash patterns like the Whelan products do. <clears throat> Which personally I think make it even harder to pick a pattern. And honestly when it comes down to it, effectiveness... Those pinwheel patterns and all those goofy patterns, those are really just for show. Those are great for um, a, a demo ambulance that somebody takes to a car show or, you know, takes to the uh, FDIC show to show off and, and say, look what we can build. But honestly, on the street, the pinwheel pattern is absolutely a waste of a lighthead. It's not effective at all. So... Technique has decided to keep it simple, which is kind of nice in a way. And we'll go through the patterns. I'll explain to you how these change patterns because it is a little bit different than most equipment. Um, now, the autosync feature on these is really nice, specifically for the retrofitting of older equipment. So when you have a fire engine that already has outdated equipment on it, and you want to retrofit with LEDs, um, to synchronize lights can be difficult. Because the way fire trucks are set up, they're not to be friendly to a builder pulling wire and, you know, retrofitting LEDs. So Technique came up with an idea to auto-sync. There's a highly accurate timer that is inside, built into the auto sync lights that keep them in sync with each other for very long periods of time. That auto sync timer resets itself every time 12 volts is applied. So in your fire engine, every time you start your fire engine up and energize your lights, that timer resets. Now, these also come with a nighttime dim feature, which is kind of nice as well. Um, you do have the option for uh, a chrome flange or a black flange. Um, they are sold separate from the actual light head itself. Um, the flange kits come with a rubber gasket. <clears throat> as we see here there's the rubber gasket that comes with it really nice um, chrome flange definitely resembles the Wheeland 500 flange for sure um, but these also come with an anchor kit that's, that's another uh, thing that I wanted to mention, these come with an anchor kit, and the instructions, the instructions that you uh, would get with these will explain the anchor kit. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to drill a quarter inch hole. These anchors then slide into that hole, and I'm not sure if my camera is picking it up, but these anchors have notches on the end of them and those coincide with those coincide with the body of the flange here so those anchors will sit right inside there perfectly and that'll give you your flush your flush mount thing your or your flush mount installation there and then the <clears throat> stainless steel hardware 
screws into the anchors and as the screw goes into the anchor the anchor obviously spreads out and holds the fixture in place really neat system now of course you don't have to use this system obviously you can you can um, install these in the conventional fashion if you so choose that's just a nice added feature sometimes these come in handy uh, we we sell and install a ton of these, especially for the retrofit industry. We retrofit quite a few uh, fire apparatus uh, and stuff along those lines. So without further ado, um, I would like to energize one or two of these and kind of go through the patterns, explain how the patterns work, how you change them. And uh, we'll take a look at them. Okay, so here is the blue technique K50 energized on pattern one. It's a single flash. Technique uses two different FPMs, and that's flashes per minute. They use a 75 FPM and a 150 FPM, so they double the speed on their faster patterns so real quick while we have this energized I want to show you how at a 45 degree angle these things are still insanely bright now of course I haven't turned on the darkening feature of the camera yet but even at almost a 90 degree angle, you're still getting quite a bit of coverage. We have a video on our channel of a utility pickup for a volunteer fire company we did. As a matter of fact, we donated that set of lights and... I show you how at a 90 degree angle the output is still almost as good as being dead on with these okay so on to the patterns well <clears throat> let me show you the dim feature here real quick you'll notice how that dims down for us. That's for nighttime use. If you have the use for the dim feature, some departments love it, some people love it, some people don't. So the difference between Technique and other products, normally the other products with the flash pattern, trigger wire, to advance patterns, you would touch it to a positive or a ground for a second or less technique is a little bit different so if I want pattern one I will tap this to a positive 12 volts one time now if I want to go to pattern two I have to tap the positive 12 volts twice for example now I just advance that to pattern two and by the way, before you guys ask, because I know you will, <clears throat> when you notice, as I change these patterns, you will notice this light after the pattern is on for a couple cycles. It will pause sort of at a dim steady burn. That's it memorizing that pattern. So once, once it goes through the cycle and does that, you're okay to you're, you're programmed basically so that you get you can install that and every time you apply 12 volts it will go back to that memorized pattern okay so let's go through some patterns here we're already on the second pattern um, obviously the first pattern was a single flash <clears throat> that was at 75 FPM this is pattern 2 that's their double flash 
at 75 FPM. Pattern three, tap this three times. One, two, three. That's your triple flash at 75 FPM. Pattern four is a quad flash, a little bit faster. That's also at 75 FPM. And then it goes on from pattern 5 through 8. It's the same first four patterns, just at the faster rate of 150 flashes per minute. So let's try pattern 5. That's definitely a faster single flash. Pattern six. Pattern seven. And that's pattern eight. That's the quad flash at 150 flashes per minute. So this next pattern, pattern 9, this is a very popular one with what seems to be most of our fire department customers. Although keep in mind, in a lot of our uh, FD customers don't realize this, if you use pattern 9, which they call <clears throat> active flash, it cycles between a 75 flash per minute and 150 flash per minute pattern. If you want those to alternate, pattern nine is not a good idea. You should go with um, one of the single, double, triple, or quad flashes. But let's show you pattern nine action, action flash. <clears throat> this is probably our most popular. <laughs> okay, pattern 10 is Nova Flash. That's kind of an odd, unique pattern. I've had a lot of customers uh, complain about techniques pattern offering. Well, why don't they offer 170 patterns? I says, well, they they try to keep it simple, but there's no there's nothing unique. Well, I like to think this is kind of unique. So they do have a couple unique patterns, um, which I will demonstrate here for you. Okay, so that's pattern 10. That's their Nova Flash. The next one, 11, is Power Flash. That's, this is the slower Power Flash. That's the 75 FPM Power Flash. Number 12 is the 150 FPM power flash. Okay, so the next pattern, 13, is dual bright. I think that's pretty unique too. 
Okay, 14 is Ramp Splash. That's ramp flash at 75 FPM. Next pattern, 15, is ramp flash at 150 FPM. Okay, so the last pattern, pattern 16, is what they call action ramp. Okay, so now I took the darkening filter off the camera and you can definitely see the absolutely blinding beam of light coming out of this this light. These are, are insanely bright. Definitely comparable to any of the other industry leading products. Okay, so uh, I'm going to pause the video just for a second and get back with you guys. I'm going to hook up the white K50 and show you the auto sync feature. Okay, folks. So now we have here a blue and a white Technique K50 with the auto sync feature. Now these two lights are not wired together.